This is Alpha Learned Loving. In the spirit of audiobooks, we are producing Red Pill Manosphere stories that you can listen to and watch. This story is called They Found Love, Red Pill Love in the Manosphere. Jake was a self-proclaimed alpha man who knew and followed the Manosphere rules with an iron will. The years he had spent roaming the pits of the Manosphere had molded him into a cynical, damaged person. He was convinced that women were prone to deceit and infidelity. His scarred past made him indifferent to the notion of love, and he lived with his red pill tinted lenses, believing that maintaining dominance was his key to survival. Jake's armor had begun to show a few cracks. He had a chance encounter with an old flame, Sarah. Now, back in the day, she had been his one true love. Meeting her again stirred up emotions that rattled his street life ideology. As they reminisced through old times, he thought he saw a flicker of sweetness in her eyes. He had to remind himself that she has the history of cheating. This was something he had ignored back then when they were seeing each other. She had thought, she was his, but it was only his turn. This encounter left Jake looking at how he was living. He found himself wondering if he would ever again open himself up and invite love into his heart. On the other side of the manosphere was Lola. Lola was a force to be reckoned with. Her intoxicating beauty was only matched by her audacious personality. She was a boss babe, the lioness on the prowl, her eyes keenly seeking out her next conquest. Lola had perfected the art of love bombing. She understood men, our vulnerabilities, and our deepest desires. She uses this knowledge along with her inviting personality and her body to entangle them. The world was like Lola's chessboard and she, the queen, held the reins. She knew how to exploit the weaknesses of alphas and sigmas alike. The trick was to find one who was tired of the endless charade, one who yearned for love but pretended indifference. She knew that she could gaslight them and slide past their defenses. She could manipulate desires and leave them wondering what happened. Jake met Lola at a rooftop party. From afar, Lola had been sizing him up. Sensing a challenge, she watched him more and more. And the more she watched, the more she became certain of that hidden soft spot. Jake, on the other hand, saw Lola as a manifestation of his red pill beliefs. To him, she was a beautiful woman capable of deceit and manipulation. Yet... He also saw an opportunity to challenge his red pill philosophy to risk vulnerability for the sake of what? For the sake of love. This was what her intuition told her about him, that he was a long time alpha who was hitting the wall. The wall was his real human emotional needs. They had been neglected by his lifestyle of being with hurt people. When he was in his 20s, he had read a lot of books try, trying to psychoanalyze women in the manosphere. He ran into some on pimping. They were books about hardcore street life, and he picked up a few tips on how women operate. Like when one of the women in the books was packing her clothes and said she was leaving, the ice cold pimp said, let me help you pack. I don't want no woman who doesn't appreciate a man who protects her and provides for her. Now, this was not what she was expecting. She had wanted to work a different street, but Mr. Pimp had a broader view, and he kept her where he wanted her. He knew that the cops were planning raids on the streets that she was asking about. When he dropped that information on her, she realized she had made a big mistake. She begged to be forgiven and said that she didn't want to leave. This is the end of part one. In part two, we will see how Mr. Pimp got an unexpected bundle of cash. We will also see how Jake and Lola 
Two people with street history what can grow beyond the rules of the manosphere, especially the rules about who to love. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next video.